Well, millions of people across the nation rely on public housing, and according to housing experts, those searching for a place to live are prime targets for con artists. In this Watching Your Wallet, consumer investigator Kreese Jackman speaks with one woman who narrowly avoided a scam and identifies the red flags you need to know. Signa Brooks has wanted to upgrade her home for years. It, it's hard. It is very difficult to find housing that's affordable. Brooks is one of millions of Americans currently living in public housing. She turned to the internet to find Section 8 homes in her area. So we were looking on the site. I came across a beautiful property. I left a message for the um, owner on the site along with an application. Shortly after applying for one of the properties listed on affordablehousing.com, Brooks got a direct message from a person claiming to be the owner of the house. So he says, well, I, I want people who are serious inquiries about my property, and can I get a $100 application fee? Now, yes, I need the property, but something tells me this isn't cool. Brooks says the person then told her to only contact them through a personal email instead of the site. So the day came when I went to pay, and he gave me a cash app address. Red flag, red flag, red flag. That's when Brooks says she knew it was a scam. I think this person didn't think they had a smart person, but they got the right one today. According to the Federal Trade Commission, this con has popped up across the U.S. Section 8 scammers stealing not only money, but people's personal information. Well, it's very disappointing. Diane Shelley, the Midwest Regional Director for the Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, says if you're trying to apply for housing or public assistance, HUD will never ask you to pay for an application fee. It's against the law for anyone to, uh, for any public housing authority to charge an application fee. She also warns, pay attention to the websites you're clicking on. For most governmental agencies, the uh, website will end with .gov. So that's always a um, trigger that you should be suspicious of who you're communicating with. We checked the website Brooks Search, affordablehousing.com. They have a scam alert section on the site with tips, including the one Brooks caught. Be skeptical if owners or property managers only want to communicate with you via email instead of face to face. The sharks are circling and they are looking for prey and desperate people in desperate times with desperate situations are their prey. She hopes by sharing her story, others looking for a better life and home will avoid becoming the next scam victim. With this Watching Your Wallet, I'm Carice Jackman. The CEO of AffordableHousing.com says the site will add trusted owner badging and membership dates to the site so people can see if the owner is legitimate. He also says he takes these incidents very seriously and will contact Brooks about her experience.